It's time to check on stories making headlines on the global front from the launch of an anti terror operation in Ukraine to the mass abduction of students in Nigeria. We go live to our Paul Lee at the News Center. Paul, let's start with Ukraine. Kiev is pushing back pro Russian groups in the eastern part of the country. What are the latest developments there? Ukraine's acting president Oleksandr Turchinov said Tuesday that special forces have retaken a military airfield in the eastern town of Kramatorsk. Authorities say it marks the first formal military action by Kiev against pro Russian militants that have occupied government buildings in 10 eastern regions this past week. Witnesses say Ukrainian troops, helicopters, and several armored personnel carriers have been deployed to other key flashpoints. Despite reports of gunfire, there have been no confirmed casualties. Pro Russian separatists remain in control of buildings in the city of Donetsk and Slavyansk. Moscow has condemned Kiev for the latest military operation saying Ukraine is on the brink of civil war. Meanwhile, Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov has urged against using any force ahead of four-way talks on Thursday between diplomats from Russia, the EU, the U.S. and Ukraine.